Okay, now I want to move on to explain, go deeper into Daniel Siegel's work around mindsight. And what, what he does is he talks about the brain and the spinal column, and this is kind of the, the brain, and what happens is people kind of go along in the world, and then they get triggered. They, they, they flip their lids, and uh, they stop thinking with their prefrontal cortex, and they respond with the amygdala. So this is the amygdala, and this is the prefrontal cortex, and they're walking along in life, and all of a sudden they kind of freak out, and the person gets triggered. And uh, the way the brain is structured, or what, what we talk about here is, there's a prefrontal cortex, the person flips their lid, there's a amygdala response, and the amygdala responds to the uh, hippocampus, which is a memory bank, and says, what did I last do in this situation? And it goes to the hippocampus, and the hippocampus responds and says, well, you used, or something. So what happens in our clients' lives, it doesn't matter what happens, there's a triggering event and the, the response is to go back to the old addictive behavior. And what we're trying to do is trigger clients so they're able to respond in a new way once they've calmed down and the prefrontal cortex creates a new response to the, for the amygdala to use once it gets triggered. And then below here we have the, the limbic system, which is basically when the body triggers, it either goes into a hypoarousal or high, sorry, hyperarousal or hypoarousal. I can, never, I can never remember it. So what we're trying to do is get our clients to learn about themselves, to learn how they're responding, because in environments where people are triggered all the time, you cannot learn a new behavior, a new response. So it's really important that as coaches we're able to create and maintain and hold this space where our clients can kind of get triggered and calm down, get triggered and calm down and we as coaches are able to maintain calm and to manage the relationship space once within ourselves and we to notice when we get triggered and how to calm ourselves down and how to take control of the environment because a lot of our clients when they come to us they all come here in a very triggered state in the first place so they'll come and then often it'll be a, a mother and then their child comes along and you as coaches need to be able to stay, stay calm in an environment of crisis chaos and conflict so that's that's the mind side model when our clients are triggered when the amygdala, when there's amygdala response, how to calm them down so we can put in a new response into the uh, hippocampus so that when clients go out there and get triggered, they're able to respond to a new behavior. It's that old saying that, uh, you know, we drank when, when we won the rugby, we drank when we lost the rugby, we drank when we drew the rugby, and then we drank because there was no rugby. So alcohol has been used to address boredom. And now you've got to find other ways that the client can respond now that they're not using anymore, that they've got all this time on their hands. Um, yeah, thank you.